Um, let's say I definitely gotta do better on the trim. Put a lot of practice on that coming. But hey, guys, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta learn. Uh, you can watch all the videos you want, but it's not always gonna work. So you get your hands dirty and do it yourself. You got the probe here on the Grace the Thermo Pro, and we got a probe in the meat. Um, we're gonna have to shut this down. The reason that we're doing that is because a lot of heat comes up here on these Oklahoma Joes. And just a few minutes ago, it was running at about 300. But my probe was telling me we're sitting at 245, 250 degrees. And I'll let you know we got codes here. We're gonna put some more wood in in a second. We had to take the um, Joes double blocks out as they burn way too fast. And I'll show you. These blocks burnt so fast that they had my door about 500. And that's not what I wanted. And the smoke was just way too much. I'm looking for a nice low and slow today. And they had me going really high. So we're gonna come back, we're gonna let it soak, we're gonna let it do its thing. And we're just going to see how this rolls today. All right, so just a quick update. Um, we got the Oklahoma Joes fired up. We're sitting at about 256 on the uh, grates and 141. And we're about, I would say two and a half hours in. So we're cooking at a nice pace. Fire management's been an issue with this Oklahoma Joe. Um, I do believe that the fire basket that um, you can buy from like Lava Log or somewhere else is going to be a big help. I do have to continue to maintain and watch it. But um, once we got it dialed in about that 250, 260 mark, I've been very happy. And the temps have been rising pretty slowly um, on the brisket, but there is no stall. So I did go ahead and spritz it once just to kind of keep it going. I just spritz it with uh, beef consomme. Just want to keep that same flavor, flavor profile going on. So we'll reach out to you guys in a little bit. Once we get to about 160, if the bark is set to where I want it, we'll go ahead and wrap it. If not, we'll just keep going until it begins to stall. And we're just gonna take this piece by piece. This is a learning experience for me with this particular smoker. Usually I use my Weber Smoky Mountain for a lot of my longer cooks. So we're going to keep on keeping and just uh, try it out and we'll see how this turns out.